Hello everyone, my name is Dilly and you're on the channel Just One More Page. And today I wanted to introduce to you Russian literature. No, no, don't hurry to close this video, it isn't what you thought. I want to uh, talk with you today about modern Russian literature and uh, modern Russian authors and those who wrote in Russian. Uh, well, you know, the whole world news, uh, the whole world knew about Stephen, Stephen King and uh, George Martin, John Rowling and Jonathan Strode and um, more others, but in Russian literature you probably know only the classic authors, classic Russian authors like Chekhov, Dostoevsky, Pushkin, Gogol and others. And um, no one knew, maybe a very small group knew about modern Russian literature, uh, Russian authors. Uh, and I think that they are deserved to be known. Well, and today I wanted to speak about The Grey House by Marianne Petrosan. This is this is a story about uh, children with different disabilities. They live and study in, um, in a boarding school. Uh, well, um, the book starts with the uh, point of view by uh, the smoker. It's one of the main characters of this book. Uh, and we see uh, the um, house and uh, people who live there by his eyes. He is a wheelchair user and he is a new boy in uh, the house. Well, he lives in the first room, uh, but actually he isn't fit there. Well, he isn't fit in the whole house because uh, he is too old for, to um, understand the um, in world of these little, uh, uh, the inner world of the house. Well, uh, we can see that uh, there is um, something like a play uh, in the house, um, and everyone uh, plays their roles. Uh, <clears throat> uh, there are uh, six six rooms uh, for boys in. Um, the house. Uh, the first uh, is the pheasants, uh, the second uh, the reds, uh, the third uh, the birds, uh, the sixth or oh, the fourth just the fourth and uh, the fifth and the sixth the hound. Uh, each room has uh, its leader. Well, uh, like um, the blind, uh, the red, uh, the red, um, the vulture and um, Pompeii also in the house takes place mystery things and uh, it has a very bloody past and um, by reading this book we will discover secrets and uh, new uh, something horrific about the past and maybe the future and who knows maybe the story repeats again the book is uh, the book was written um, in genre uh, magical realism uh, it is very well written uh, also it has um, uh, chapters from different point of views of different uh, characters and it also has interludes uh, which shows us uh, the past of the uh, house and the previous um, group of upperclassmen uh, who lives in the house and um, about uh, the small uh, and about the main characters of the book who were small in those days. I think that the main character of this book is the house. It is a strange place with a mystery uh, in it and 
Not everyone can understand or discover its secrets and also not everyone fits them. We also have a fandom joke. Uh, if you read this book and you liked it, uh, then the house let you in. And if you read this book and dislike it, just the house uh, didn't let you in. I think it's very cute, uh, maybe cool, because um, it makes the house, house live in Moril. The author style was really excellent. I enjoyed it while I was uh, reading. Well, I speak about the Russian, um, about uh, the Russian copy, if you can see. I don't know much about the translation, so I can be sure about this. Uh, if you read it and uh, you like it or dislike, just uh, write me in the comments about the style and the language of the book, how uh, it was translated. Do you um, like? Do you di dislike this book because of the uh, language and style, or just about the story and? Uh, you just didn't understand it or don't like a magical realism, please. I will be thank you for this. Also, I like that um, Miss Petrosan, Madame Petrosan, uh, didn't um, tell us about the country or time period of this book, uh, of this story, because it's something out of um, our world and it's like um, in other universe um, but someone believes that uh, it takes place in England uh, in the 60s, eight, 80s of the previous um, century uh, because um, some, some details in this book um, tells us about it, well, like uh, music. Someone think uh, that uh, the things one of the characters in this book are uh, like the Led Zeppelin, <laughs> uh, and um, well, uh, in this book uh, they just talk about the Zeppelins, uh, their music uh, band, and. Um, Someone think it's Led Zeppelin. Well, maybe, I don't know. All characters were written very well. They are bright and uh, real. They not bad and not good. They made unexpected decisions and uh, they are developing uh, through the story and uh, their life, uh, the past, their and their future is very interesting to uh, analyze and to to analyze their decisions, uh, to um, discover their pasts, uh, well, they may be secrets, and uh, to think about uh, their future, what will they choose, and uh, the book itself has many meanings, and uh, while you read it uh, and then uh, you reread it and uh, with each time you discover more and more details and I think it's very cute book to um, discuss with your friends or maybe family uh, it makes you think uh, it's a common knowledge that the book was a safe house for the author. Uh, she wrote it for herself uh, to um, something um, to find the place where she fits. Well, uh, she wrote it for nearly twenty years, and uh, she didn't want it to publish it at all, and. Uh, Fortunately for us, it was published in the uh, 2009 and was um, quite successful. It was translated into, uh, well, surely 10 languages, 
um, people not only uh, read this book but they make uh, for us they make a place and uh, it has a very um, surely much fandom uh, for this uh, story on the outside of the city among uh, this, the standard new buildings uh, there is situated the grey house there lives the sphinx the blind the lord tobacco and more others nobody actually knows that lot from the noble family but the blind really blind and the sphinx is wise everyone here has a pet name the house decided decides do you fit here or not one day at the house which keeps secrets deep sometimes has so many things and events that we in the outdoors can't hold throughout our lives it's such an excellent story full of uh, mystery and riddles i like uh, um medical realism uh this genre and i really like magical realism uh and it i like the uh think that it's make you choose do you really believe in all these or don't it's your choice to make uh also it's cool that the author at the beginning shows at the inner uh, vault of uh, the house by the um by eyes of the new boy and um uh, he discovers this uh, little world with us and then um while we developing the story and the past and make something decisions um, we understand uh do we really like the story or not and only then we can see uh, the house by the eyes of the different characters who grew in the house and knew its secrets and knew what it's like um we um then through the story we can see um the house by the eyes of the blind the sphinx uh the big belt the vulture um the tobacco and other characters uh and from the eyes of one of the teachers um the black ralph uh if i if i i can recommend this book to the great lovers of the genre or for those who wanted to read something um in this genre or um I don't actually actually think it's fit for um, those who just wanted to uh, um, open their chance or this genre for themselves because uh, I can't be sure about the translation and well in in Russian uh, if you if you'll read it in Russian yes I can recommend it for um the newbies of the genre but mm, not now in english how it um, was made uh, also i can recommend for those who want uh, who wanted a safe house for themselves uh, who needs um, um, some place where they can hide from the big bad world and where they can be um where they can fit actually because not everyone can understand this book uh, that's for sure well i think it's all for now thank you for watching this video i really appreciate your likes and your comments your thoughts about this book uh, do you want it to read do you read it uh, do you like it or not um, any thoughts uh, i will read i will uh, read them all thank you for watching goodbye